Alright guys, welcome back to another, uh, another Deadliest Cast fishing video. So, uh, I know it's been a minute since I last last posted a video. Um, it's been a little busy with, with some fishing, doing some sturgeon and stuff like that, but uh, I got some goodies that came in from Okuma and Fish Lab I wanted to go over with you guys. So, uh, it's a little bit of an unboxing kind of video. I took some of the stuff out so I don't have to open it all up, but I just wanted to show you some of the gear, some of the tackle that I'll be using um, throughout these videos that I do. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, just kind of share with you guys. You guys can see what I'm using. We'll go more into detail on certain products as we go along, as the season progresses. But uh, start off with some of the stuff from Fish Lab, okay? Um, Fish Lab makes a bunch of bunch of lures, jigs, offshore, inshore, freshwater, saltwater, you name it, they have them. Uh, you've seen them in quite a few of my videos. You see me catch stripers and halibut with some of the stuff. Lincod, yellowfin, Yellowtail, Dorados, you name it. Uh, let's, get, let's start off with this. Got me a beanie, you know, it's getting cold out here. It's cold out here in the San Francisco Bay, so. Got a couple beanies that keep my head warm. They're awesome, you know. Especially when you're out there, out there jigging at night for tuna. It gets cold, even in San Diego, believe it. It gets cold. Um, let's go to the next one. So the Fish Lab, Soft Mac Attack. You've seen these in my, my video from Mag Bay where I was catching yellowfin. Everything was chewing on this. I couldn't keep this out of the water, you know, um, for as long as it's, it's just, everything wanted to bite it. You know, I got yellowfin, I got yellowtail, you know, Dorados, everything was hitting it. Uh, so these are always good to have. They're also really good up here in our area in the San Francisco Bay, for Lincod. Um, my buddy Paul, he got a pretty nice halibut on this though also so they make them in different colors there's a white one there's a green one i'm just gonna you know just restock in my inventory i'll show you guys the rest of this this room shortly in the video that's coming up but uh i have a whole whole pegboard full of stuff okay all right the next one is the fish lab matio he's coming in different sizes i like these guys these guys are the five inch and they're it's a little bit over an ounce, but that white and chartreuse, we all know it gets bit up here. Halibut, striped bass, all that good stuff. They come in, in a variety of sizes and colors, but I have a certain, certain preference with this color. You know, you guys up here in the Bay Area know chartreuse, white, always hits. Stripers love them. The halibut love them, you know. Uh, Anything will hit it, you know? They got some bigger ones you can catch some rockfish and link out onto as well. You put them on an A-Rig. Uh, you guys that fish all the stripers in the Delta or bass even if you want, you know? Those work. And another one here is the Fish Lab, the Carnella Flutter Jig, okay? You've seen these in the videos where me and Trev are out there getting some stripers in the boils. This is what I was throwing. This little thing right here. This thing is only, you know, about three and a quarter inches, you know. This is 40 grams, they have 40, 60, different colors. This is the green Mac right here. This is the sardine pattern. But uh, you obviously seen what I did in that video with this stuff and these things are are brutal on fish. So they're, uh, you know, the hooks are strong. I can't complain. Uh, caught a lot of fish on these things and I'm gonna continue to use them. You can use them up here in the bay you know, up in NorCal, use them for rockfish, use them, for, use them down south. When those bluefin are on that small little, little micro baits, you know, little anchovy size baits, you know, cast these out. You'll get bit on those too. And then, um, what else? You got the scrum poppers here. You know, these guys also, you've seen them in, in my videos down south, out of Mag Bay. I'll be going this September, so. Get some more footage of these. I want to try to get a, a Wahoo on one of these guys. Uh, these are just really, these are just put together really well. You know, I can't say much, you know, but they get bit. So you will see these in the videos. They come in a variety of colors as well. The clear is also a popular color for the, for the guys down south. I haven't caught a, a bluefin on it yet, but I know I've seen. I've heard, hey guys, I always get bit on this clear color. Why, I don't know, but clear works. Clearly, 
no pun intended. All right, the next one is these uh, flankers. So on our trip, uh, the Akuma trip that we did with the, with Dave and all the Akuma guys, we were fishing. It was a like San Clemente. Dave had me use one of his flankers. Immediately, I fell in love with it because just thinking about what I can do with it up here. So this is, you know, it's, it's a pencil bait, stick bait. It's meant for you to throw it, you know, and cast it, retrieve it really fast. The faster you go, the wider it kicks. It's a, a solid body. It's got owner, owner split rings and, and treble hooks. But, come on, tell me that's not going to get bit by, by a striper or a halibut up here. You know, especially, you know, like the guys that fish the surf, like having different sizes. This is a... Uh, that's a three quarter ounce, it's a little over, over three inches, and then the four and a half inch one is one ounce, you know, and uh, yeah, they have some nice colors, you know. This is the blue dot. This one is, where's it at? This one right here, I like a lot. Look at that. It's like a little, almost like a jack smell, huh? Surf smell or something. But uh, I will be throwing these. Soon, as soon as we get all these stripers in the springtime in the bay, better believe it, I'm gonna be throwing them. So, like I said, they come in different sizes, different colors. You guys, check out Fish Lab's website. There's a lot of options for you, and um, yeah, it's just really nice, huh? Really well put together baits. Yeah. Look at that. Just imagine you guys are fishing from shore for rockfish, you know. Adventurous guys like to climb down cliffs and stuff. Try throwing these out for these rockfish and lane pod. I'm sure they get swallowed They're pretty good. All right, so let's get into some of the reels. Uh, this one you've seen in plenty of my videos. This is the, the Akuma Komodo the SS. SS means stainless steel. Uh, I like the 471 and the 471P. The 471 right here is just the regular. I'll show you the handle and all that stuff. Let me get this box up. But you see me use it for link cod, a lot of link cod, you know, rockfish and stuff like that. So, this is solid, solid body here. So, check that out. So, the 471P, which I'm, I gotta get another one too, is uh, it's got a power handle. This one, just a, for me, it's just a little faster pickup and you're dropping swim baits and you're jigging. Um, but I, I like them both. You know, this thing, I'll read it. I know it just packs a lot. So this is a seven, one one gear ratio. This thing, it's got the cast control. You gotta take this apart and we'll do that in another video. But on mine, I usually pack it with about between 40 to 50 pound braid. And it, it does well over 300 yards, depending on how well you can spool it and the kind of braid. Um, but these things are amazing. I took them down south as well. You know, I've fished them down south, fished them up here. Uh, gonna catch a sturgeon on one of these soon. You know, I gotta try that next. So I gotta get another another 471P. But they are a must have if you like jigging. So I gotta do up here. You know, try them out. Use them to surf, they're durable. I've seen, actually I did catch a tuna on this in that day as well. Me and Jared used these, and we were casting all those jigs with the, the poppers and all that type of swim baits, and they work well. Uh, one of the other reels I've been waiting for, I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite some time, is um, the Alejos reel from Okuma. I got them in three different sizes. Okay, the five, this is the five narrow. This is a 12 narrow. Here, just to see. These are heavy. Okay, five yard and twelve. And I got the sixteen. So I'll open them up real quick. Show you this stuff. So these are um, beer. As John Bretza said, the mini Makaira. Yeah, you guys know the Makairas are bulletproof. They're solid, as well as a lot of the Kuma reels. But this one is just from the same, same ballpark. All right, this is the five narrow. It's got a cast control on the side. You know, it has a dual drags. 
the thrust bearing so you can get a nice smooth retrieve, smooth cast. And like I said, it does have the cast control. I, I don't really use the cast control, but it's nice to have, you know, your, your, your fly lining baits or you're trying to get some sardines out there. That makes a difference because we all know how much it sucks the backlash, or as I call it, a professional overspin. You know, just uh, us captains don't backlash, right? Of course we don't. But uh, it is a two speed, and uh, this one right here is packing about 24 pounds of drag or so. And you're looking at 42.1 inches of retrieve per crank. Um, it's got seven bearings. It's just, it's just solid construction, you know. A lot of the reels that I use, um, from Akuma, they're bulletproof. You know, I love them. Some of the best reels out there. They really put a lot of development, a lot of time, a lot of effort into their reels. So uh, you'll see me use this for probably for sturgeon, for sure. For, for if we get salmon again this year, we'll do a salmon on that. Uh, I want to go up north, do some albacore with it. You know, it's a little small, but. You guys know me, I don't like to let fish run, so there won't be much of a chance for those albacore to run for me. So if we get a shot, I'm going up there, I'm bringing the boat, we're going to do it. So, and I'll for sure bring it down south, do some bluefin, smaller bluefin. But I have a tendency to always catch big fish on small gear, right? Don't know why, you know, you guys can see the picture back there. There's a picture right there, of me holding, I think it's like 70 something pounds. I caught it on 30 pound gear. It was insane. It took me about an hour or so. Would I do it again? Absolutely not. But that seems to be the way it works for me every time I go fishing. Catch big fish on small gear, right? Way to go. So this one is the 12. It's a little bigger. This I'll be using, um, Mostly down south, you know. Uh, your bigger fish, your 40 to 80 pound class fish, your, your bluefin, uh, maybe some yo-yo fishing. You know, again, I already went over the dual drags, the thrust bearings, you know. It's beautiful, you know. Same handles as Makaira. Like, like I said, it's a mini Makaira, but it's got that cast control, you know. And uh, this one right here, you're looking at 34 pounds of drag. That's, that's some serious stopping power. And uh, 48.4 inches of retrieve per crank. So, do some deep drop stuff for rockfish too, lingcod. Uh, I'm gonna go up north and do some halibut up in Washington and Alaska. That's might. That might be another trip I'm looking into. I've gone down south a lot. Might be time to switch it up. Gotta make it to Alaska eventually. So this is a 12, like I said. And let's get to the 16 here, if you guys can see that one. I gotta spool all these things up. Get some more line. Can never put these things back in the box right. There we go, that worked. And they all come back, uh, all these reels have a three year warranty on them. Uh, honestly, I don't even see you needing warranty anything uh, I haven't broken any any of these yet or have any of these reels fall apart on me yet so but it is nice to have it kind of takes care of you guys you know you have an issue they'll they'll take care of you everybody down there is super friendly amazing it's a really family oriented that's why I'm with them you know I love the guys down there they're all they're all amazing to work with Wish I lived closer so I could hang out with them more. But, uh, gotta get them to come up here, I guess, you know? I've been telling Dave to come up here and get some sturgeon on me. And, uh, he told me to update that Monterey picture, you know? It's a picture of him with the halibut, you know? But, gotta get a picture with me and the sturgeon from these stores. What do you think, Dave? I think we can do it. I know Jonathan's all for it. <laughs> so, anyways, this is, this is the 16. It's a lot bigger, you know? This, I'm gonna primarily use for dropping knife jigs, um, flat falls and stuff for bluefin. I have a 30 Makara that I was using too, but I think it's just a little too big. This is just a little smaller than that. And uh, just easier, you know, for me to work with. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is 
Just check them out. They're a little less than the Makairas. They're pretty much a Makaira, you know, into, into this reel here. They're it's like it's a, you know, almost like a, like, like a brother to the Makaira. So this one right here, guys, it has a 40, yeah, 48 pounds of drag. Wow, that's serious talking power. So check that out. Yeah, maybe I'll go up north and catch one of those really big halibut, huh? One of those big halibut or those, those Fraser River sturgeon. But I know we have those here though. But anyhow, I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys, you know. I'll be having some more stuff coming in I can show you. And uh, try to do some more videos on the regular here. But I'll put all the info for all the products that I've showed you here. This is just one box I'm getting that, you know, I'll be getting more of. And, uh, and when the rest of the stuff comes in, I got some rods coming in. Probably some more, some more lures. Maybe a couple of reels. I have another, another video coming up. I got two spinning reels that I'll be showing you guys. The Tesoro and the Selena. Um, we'll do that shortly here. Probably next week or so. Try to get back to doing a video a week for you guys. It's just, it's really tough with the uh, running charters and kids and family and all that good stuff. But uh, I know you guys have expressed it a lot of the shows. The Sacramento show, you guys wanted to see some more videos. So here we are. We'll start doing some more. Uh, working on the podcast thing. That's coming up. We originally shot it, me and Captain Paul. But uh, as you know, we've had our share of issues with GoPros. So. We're switching it up now. Um, we're working with some new cameras, so hopefully it'll be more consistent with, with the, the content. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. You know, this is a new camera I'm trying here. Let me know how you guys like it. So, until next time, I will see you guys soon. Uh, if you have any questions or comments regards to products or any, you know, any, um, any type of questions about Okuma, Fish Lab, go ahead and put in the comments, let me know. I'll figure it out. If I don't know the answer, I'll make one up. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But I'll get you the answers to whatever you want to know about Okuma and Fish Lab. I probably have them. Probably have rods, the reels, whatever you're looking for. I've used them. You know, if not, I'm in in close with everybody over there at Okuma. I'm sure they can help us out with your questions. So, all right. So thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you guys get yourself geared up for the season before it starts. Uh, looks like we're going to have another good bluefin season up here in, in Northern California, so you guys get ready. Get you some, some reels, some gear, some rods, and uh, see you in the water. Alright guys, see you later.